everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's me, Ayman from Mass Code Tech, and today we'll be learning about bugs and debugging in computer programming. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's hop right into the video. Today we will learn about what is a bug, how to debug a code or program, and print statements. What is a bug? When your program does not work the way it should, it means your program has a bug in it. It means that your program has a fault or an error. How to debug your code or program? To debug a code or program, you will have to use the print statements. What are print statements? Print statements is what we use when we are trying to figure out the bug in our code. This is very useful when you can't find the error or fault in the code you have written. Two types of print statements, print and print line. For some editors, we have to use print, and for some, we'll have to use print line. So you will have to figure out which one is right for your editor. More ways to debug your code or program. You can use the print statements to find the error in the code, print or print line, or you can read the program to a family member or a friend and explain them your program by line by line. This way you'll find out the mistake. Alright guys, so as you can see right over here, I have made a background using code and some other things using code. Now, let's press run, the, run code and some tiny tiny squares are going to appear in between this square. I think there's a bug going on in our program. Let's try debugging it. To debug, I'm going to check. First, I'm, I have to check um, if my print line is working. So, print line, followed by parentheses, and end with a semicolon. And in between the parentheses, I'm going to have some quotation marks. Two quotation marks, and in between the quotation marks, I'm going to type in press. And... Now I'm going to run code and press, oops, wait, press, P-R-E-S-S, -S. run the code and scroll it down and click in between the square. So I think our print line is working, I think. Yeah, yep, our print line is working. Now we're going to erase this and we are going to type in print line full by parentheses and a semicolon. And now in between the parentheses, I'm going to type in some quotation marks. And in between the quotation marks, I'm going to copy this mouse x, the if statement, mouse x and mouse x. Just copy it and just paste it. And the second, now we're going to make another print line. To make another print line, we have to type in print. Ln means line, followed by parentheses and end it with a semicolon. And in between the parentheses, again, we are going to have some quotation marks. And in between the quotation marks, I'm going to do the same thing I did with the X. But this time, I'm going to copy-paste the Y, mouse Y. So, copy and paste it. Okay, now let's run the code and press in the middle of the square. I don't know what's wrong with it. Wait, there's only a bit coming. Run the code. Only 
on that side. I want it everywhere, so, huh, let's see. Our rect is 150, and the same thing of our mouse x and mouse y is 150. Ooh, let's add 100 to our 150, and the total is 250. 250 and 250. And we're going to change it right over here to see if it's going to work. 250. To 250, okay. Run the code. Now let's see if it gets the bo tiny boxes, squares are going to come like everywhere. Click. Yep, it sure did work. Wow, it looks amazing. I want to keep on doing this. It's kind of like a game. Put squares like covered this big square with the other small squares. Oof, that will be awesome. Lots and lots of squares, lots of squares, lots of squares. Wow, that technique really worked. Okay, guys, so as I told you, you could figure this out. Uh, you could use this print line technique on any other code, like example. Uh, remember, guys, when we did the if statement, we had to make the... Um, Codes to get get the sir. I mean by function parameters, we need to get the si uh, circles in the right place. That time we could have used this code, but we didn't know print line could do such a thing. So yeah, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this video, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Bye. See you later. Hope you enjoyed.